Alright, here we go with a quick walkthrough of the features of this plugin. Uh, let's first go to Page Templates. All you gotta do is add new, name it, and go with restaurants. Template title. For this, you can just go, all these short cards are up here. So this will take the business name, do mobile report. Here is the top part. The front end without the pro will have four. Graphical headlines here, the OTO will have up to 24. And this is all the text below the iPhone emulators. Email templates, same way. Uh, the OTO, the pro version, is going to have eight different niche ones here. To create one, very simple. Name it. Email subject, email content, that's it. Now let's show you how easy it is to create a business page. As you can see, there's none here. Let's just go add new. Let's just choose the default. We'll go with Ron's Bar. Let's say the contact name is Ron. Phone number test at mopijive.info. We'll say this is their website. This is the example site. Click Add. Now let's go back to business pages. And here's the page it just created. Here's their website on a mobile. Not very good. Here's the example mobile website. These are dynamically created. This one goes to their site. This one goes to the example site. All this text can be edited. As many templates as you want. They enter their phone number and it will automatically send an email to you. You can get an email as soon as they view this and an email as soon as they click submit. Let's go back here. This is literally how easy this is to set up. Create a page and use that. Phone size regular. You can make different size phones. You can use one phone if you want. The second phone is where you demonstrate the mobile website. So you can put one here and this will be the default one in case you don't have one uploaded. It will automatically do that. QR codes created dynamically. You can change the text right above the QR codes. You can change the placeholders for the name and the phone number. You can change the contact or the submit button text. Contact form color. You can choose to show the name field or not. So you can have name and phone number or just phone number. Email where it's sent from the name. You can do PHP or SMTP as far as the emails go. Integrate with read notify, send email on view, send email on submit. submit. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one means when as soon as somebody clicks on the link in the email and looks at the page, you'll get an email saying it happened. As soon as they submit their phone number or name and phone number, you'll get an email. Business email BBC. This means if you outsource the email, the email part of this, uh, you can have your email address BBC'd in here, blind carbon copy, so you know they're sending out emails. And for the advanced, here's the Twilio integration. It works on a free and paid account. All you gotta do is put your Twilio phone number, your phone number, and then every time somebody views a website, a page that you sent out, you can have a text message sent to you. It'll have the company name, contact phone number, website and landing page, SMS on submit. Same thing, you'll have the contact information to whoever submitted it, plus the phone number they have sent have inputted, it will get sent right to your cell phone through text message. All you do is tap it, call them, close the sale. This Twilio part right here is in the pro upgrade, so that's really all there is to this. Uh, a video right below or above here somewhere on this page will show you the mass import feature, which means you can basically bulk upload a CSV file and create them. So if we just go like this, Upload. They were all dynamically created. I believe there's 20 in here. These all go to the test. Here's how easy it is to send an email. Let's just use the default. Send. Email sent. Now you can also do bulk emails.
So let's say you want to contact these three people. Email send, you can choose the default or whichever one you want. Bulk send, it's going to go through and do the bulk sending. And this is throttled, so it's going to take about a minute, minute and a half for that to happen. Let's go back here. Email sent here. Viewed, no. Contact request, no. As soon as they click on the page and view it, this will tell you the time and date that that happened. You also get the time and the date that they entered their phone number at the bottom. And that's really all there is to it. These were all sent. Let's go back here and update this business page and you'll see that these were all sent on these dates so you know exactly when you sent them. I had these go to the test, my test website or email address so it didn't actually go to the business. And that's all there is to this plugin. Uh, yeah. Easy money.